this is a phase two study for patients with high-risk MDS, high-risk CMML, or a low blood CML who had not previously received treatment with hypermethylating agents and were ineligible for stem cell transplantation. And these patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive pivonidostat plus azacitidine or azacitidine alone. The study was powered on EFS as the uh, original primary endpoint, and 120 patients have been enrolled. The median age was 70 years old, 56% of the patient had high-risk uh, MDS, 14% had high-risk CMML, and 30% had low blast count AML. So uh, regarding the results in the intention to treat population, there was a trend uh, toward a longer inventory survival in patients uh, treated with pivonidostat plus azacitidine versus azacitidine alone with a median EFS of 21 months versus 16.6 .6 months. The median overall survival was similar in the two groups, uh, 21.8 months with pivonidostat and azacitidine, and 19 months in the azacitidine alone group. And even if the study was not powered to assess differences in disease-specific subgroups, uh, in patients with high-risk MDS uh, only, a median even free survival was significantly longer with the combination of pivonidostat and azacitidine versus azacitidine alone, the median EFS was 20.2 month versus 14.8 uh, month. And similarly, in patients with low blast EML, OS, uh, with, uh, OS uh, of patient treated with a pivonidostat and azacitidine versus azacitidine alone trended towards significance. Um, in terms of the uh, secondary objective among patients with high risk MDS, the overall response rate with pivonidostat and azacitidine versus azacitidine alone was uh, higher, 79% versus uh, 57%. And the median duration of response in these patients with high risk MDS was uh, longer, uh, uh, 34.6 months with pivonidostat and azacitidine versus 13.1 months with azacitidine alone. Well, to conclude, a randomized phase three uh, trial uh, is fully enrolled and is further evaluating the combination of pivonidostat and azacitidine uh, versus azacitidine alone in high risk MDS, CMML, and low blast EML. We look forward uh, to the results of this study. If it confirms and even amplifies the promising results of this phase two uh, study, we will have a new treatment for high risk MDS. But for the moment, we have to be careful and wait for the results of uh, this phase three uh, study.